Well, I'm from Hawaii. I met him when he was at the Kelowna Mar. He was there two months. He wasn't well. You know, we talk. We got to talking motorcycles. He asked if he could borrow my bike. I said, of course. He got to taking it out every day. He was registered as McGuire. Keeping a low profile, you know? But after a week or two, you know, I think he was lonely. I'd see him around the pool. He must have seen me coming to work one morning on my bike because he asked me about it. How was it riding? Something, and we started talking about bikes. He had, at the time, over a hundred bikes in his collection. I don't know where they were. In the States. You know the great escaper? He did those stunts himself. <laughs> you know where he jumps the barbed wire? He did that himself. Though it wasn't barbed wire. <laughs> he found out that I was into the martial arts and we took to spying. Ooh, he was in great shape, even though his disease. He was strong as a horse at the time. I mean, a 50, 60 minute workout was nothing to him. And I'll tell you something else is, he drank a case of beer a day. 24 beers a day. Lowenbrow. I know because I used to bring them to him. And smoke? Like a chimney. <laughs> I guess he's just one of those men who are blessed with a perfectly good constitution. Though he was in great pain at the time. I know he was. Indians, Harleys, Nortons, he had them all. Did you know in the old Indian the oil flowed through the frame? It flowed right through the frame. Oh, you know the stunt in The Great Escape where they get the bike? The German motorcycle riders coming down the road, they stretch a wire. <laughs> They had the greatest motorcycle rider in the world, Rusty something. Rusty, they told him. Just drive down the road. They told him, be ready for anything. So I was so authentic. He runs into that wire. He didn't know it was there. They did that in one take. That is son. Yeah. At the time, he was trained as a flight instructor. I stayed at his house in Malibu three days. <laughs>